This is Gally and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to draw dragon arms. This has also been a request. So we're going to try some simple ways to draw arms. And well, there are many many kinds of arms, as I say in different videos. There are many different noses, eyes, legs or whatever. But you can make your own based on a simple base that I'm going to draw. Or just like try to figure how arms look thanks to different animals. In different cases, for example in T-Rex, you will see little arms that have nothing to do with the big legs. Or with birds, you can see that their tiny legs actually help their body stay put while they have their wings spread. So it's different with every animal, but you're going to see different examples. I will show you all the ones I have made. And you will see something that is repeated along the, the drawings. I'm going to signal this for you. You can see here, I've made the little, like, it's a sphere, and then it's connected with different ones. Is, is this, is the basic thing in everything. Like, you can see it here, and in every other of the sketches. So you can see that around it I built the arm and now you will wonder how do I know that with this like how, how do I know how to put the arm around it? Well that's a different thing. Because you will need to probably google some animals like lions and horses and see their anatomy and see why their muscles are connected the way they are. You will see this is the elbow, this is the forearm and then the paws. And the paws can be different as well. We will do an, another episode with different kinds of paws. But for now you will see like the basic of the arms in the dragon. And when we do poses I will also show you why this looks the way it does. Of course I've, re I've used reference right now to make all these. But as you will see this is the back view. Uh, this is a single creature, this is a single dragon this one as a whole is one dragon this one as a whole is another dragon and well these are just the basic uh, figures you have to draw so I'll hide this if you want to have this as reference you can pause the video right now and try to copy it and make it your own that could be your homework so for now I'm going to show you the basics for example you have your little dragon buddy here and try to have him like standing in that position. I already did his hind legs as you can see, but we're going to do the front leg. So for the front leg, this the leg shouldn't be here and shouldn't be here. Because it's too close to the neck and that won't help his movement. And too far here, that's like the ribs. You cannot have the legs on his ribs because it won't work. So what I do is try to google some horses or lions and see that their legs actually go somewhere like here because they have this and then another connection. This could be the shoulder, this is the elbow, this is the forearm and this is the pole. If you also want to see how long should your leg be, try to measure from here to here of your animal, like their head and then try to measure it the same way here. So this could be one head length. Okay, that's also important. Because if your animal has two long legs, it probably won't work unless it's a cheetah or you're referencing another animal. So, for your animal to have long legs, that's not wrong. But remember what I say, there's a reason behind behind every design. So if your animal has long legs, try to answer the question why. Why does it have long legs? Why would it run the way it would? If it has long ears, why? And such things. So to put the other leg, we're going to have a different color. And it has to be in the same place as this one. But instead of having it in a stoic same position, you can Try to copy the same thing you did here. And ha have his arm in a bent backwards pose. 
so you can have more dynamic poses instead of just copying the same leg and for it to go here would be boring. So now that you have your two legs, you see the pattern I've been drawing, which is the first hinge, then the elbow, which is another hinge, and then the wrist. It goes like this in every single animal, even if it's a short arm. For example, you make a short arm. Imagine a T-Rex in this case. Let's probably draw him better. Like he has his little arms. Haha. <laughs> Looks like a Toy Story giant. You see little arms. It's the same thing, exactly, in the legs as well. Me. Inch. It could be longer. For example, you can have just the thigh, then the hand part of the leg, and then the feet. Or you can have more, like hinge, knee, hinge, knee, hinge, and the legs, and like this. Or just have fun with that. Like copy, copy this, and try to have it in different positions, like such. Wait. To raise it. Like if you want a, a bent leg, you can have like this, you can have a long leg, or I don't know, a standing leg, just copy the pictures. You can have so many different poses with this. And for example, not only the legs, but the arms if you want your arm to face front, like a top, like your animal is crouching. I will return to the first ones and explain them, so you see what I'm doing here. So if you want to copy this, pause the video. So back to the first ones. Okay, I'm gonna grab red. So this one, your animal Like hanging like this, he's probably flying. He has a relaxed arm. In this one, the animal is facing that way, so his arm is crouching like a panther, and his leg is as well. You're viewing it from a different angle, that would be his tail. So that's a, a hard position to draw, but once you learn the basic of how to draw this, it will become easier. So for example, this one, his hands are facing to the front. This is his thumb, and he's facing like this. As you can see, he's probably trying to throw himself after a prey, so he's jumping. Try to add the other legs based on the other design, like based on this one, you can make a different leg. This is his neck. So then his other arm could go here. And you see what I'm doing. It's kind of referencing this. This is a neck, and this one has a ready hand just for posing. This one is looking to the front. That's another difficult position to draw them in, but once you do it, Many times you start learning why. He also has this relaxed position. And as you can see, it's just figuring out the pose, then the position of the arms, and then just drawing this, and try to make different poses for your graphics. So that has been all for this video. The next one will probably be on hands and paws, and the different kinds there are. So for now, if you want homework, just copy the poses or make your own. And if you want, show them to me and I will be really happy to see them. Thank you for watching, guys. If you really like this, please subscribe. There are more to come. Bye-bye.